Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. To the class. Good evening, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome to the class, everybody. So today is Friday, that's very good. And well, uh, about the platform, this is the question for today. This is the almost the last class. We have just one more class on Monday and that's it. And of course, as usual, we're going to check the attendance. So let's see how it goes. Let's see. Okay, so Ada, Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. 
Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Present teacher. Good. Osmín Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Good evening, present. Good evening. Sandra Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Ah, I'm sorry, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today and uh, let's see how it goes. So. Let's check. Okay. We're going to continue with the book. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so unit four, of course, trends in e-commerce. And uh, well, yesterday we were checking about reading. So this is um, about vocabulary, up according to that reading, definitely. So it says, uh, find the words in bold in the passage in page 38. So it's the reading that we checked yesterday. And we are going to check about five concepts. The first one is brick and mortar retail stores. The, and then margins, and then millennials, and then click merchants. So uh, for the number one, there are two options. So. You are going to read the options and then we're going to choose which one is the correct one. So, Wendy, could you please read the first two options for the number one? Okay, uh, brick and mortar retail store. The physical presence of a business in a building in a business with only digital presence. Yeah. Okay, so we have two options, the physical presence of a business in a building or a business with only digital presence. Everybody, what is the answer for this? What do you think? Hmm. Maybe, I don't know it's correct, but maybe it's the option number one. So the physical presence? I mean, for brick and mortar retail stores, there are two options. The physical presence of a business in a building or a business with only digital presence. What do you think is it? So one of the two options is the answer for brick and mortar retail stores. I don't know, teacher. And the rest of the people, the class? Uh, a business with only digital presence. A business with only digital presence. So what everybody says. Uh, 
Do you physical agree? Physical presence. The physical presence of a business in a building. That is it. I mean, actually, it's the physical presence. Remember that when we say brick and mortar, that is a physical store, something that is there, right? So it's not online, but physical. Okay, the number two, uh, could you please read that one, Osmin? All right, teacher. Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, to deposit an amount of money with a broker, uh, cost different or acquiring products. Acquiring. And acquiring product and the selling price. Very good. Margin. So what is it? To deposit an amount of money with a broker or the cost difference of acquiring products and the selling price? What do you believe is this, everybody? Number two. So it's going to be cost difference. Yes. That is correct. Yes, number the, two. Very good. So the margin is a synonym of a profit, right? So it's the difference between the investments and the costs of everything, all the processes, and then the selling pricing. That difference is the profit, is the margin of profit. Very good. Me, millennials, that is going to be for Anna Salmi. Millennials, in the generation of people born between the early 1980s and 1990s, and business entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Millennial is in number one in the generation of people. Very good. It's a generation, right? That they call it like that. Uh, born between the early 80s and 90s. So those are the millennials. Good, perfect. We're getting there. And the number four is going to be for, let me just check. It's going to be for, oops, something happened. Uh, for Nelson. But it's going to be not this, but this. Okay, here we go. Okay, number two. Yeah, please. Number two, margin. Uh -huh. To deposit an amount of money with a broad. A broad. No, number, number four, I'm sorry. Click merchant. Ah. Okay. Number four, click merchant. Uh, a merchant who receives and process may only order a merchant that exclusively offers digital products and service. Very good, perfect. So, uh, click merchant, what is that? So, is that a merchant who receives and processes mail online orders or a merchant that exclusively offers digital products and services. What do you think? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. And the rest of the people? I think teacher, a, a merchant that exclusive of digital products and service. Okay, yeah, actually that is the one, a merchant that exclusively offers digital products and services. Good, perfect. And then uh, there are some questions for everybody here. So, um, well, this is a supposed an interview, but we're not gonna do that one. So it's number one says, have you ever visited stores website and later decided to buy an item from their physical store. So that has ever happened to you that you go online, but you say, no, I, I prefer to go to the store. What do you think? So have you ever? Teacher, for, go ahead. For <laughs> okay, uh, the last year I visited the the Curacao page to watch to see a TV. 
and I was looking, but uh, I decided to go to the physical store to appreciate uh, very close, very close the, the, the TV and the site. Mm, of course. So yeah, I believe that in that kind of situations is valid, right? You see everything there on the website, but you want to be sure. If you are going to spend a lot of money, you want to be sure about the quality of the product, the size, the features, maybe ask some questions. That is a good thing. Good. Anybody else? Yeah, I say that I prefer check first in the website uh, before to uh, before I I can go to the store because um, sometimes when we make, for example. If I prefer a specific product, a specific a specific product, um, and the maybe the store is not having, uh, I and I when I go to there and I prefer first uh, to check in the website and then I decide to uh, if I go or not for for not wasting my time. Very good. Actually, that is exactly what I do. You know. Sometimes you need to know for, first of all, if the product is available, some characteristics, pricing, sure. maybe compare, uh -huh, go ahead. Uh, no, okay. I comment that in uh, something in a website, there are uh, another offer, an exclusive offer that don't exist in a store, in a physical store. It's a benefit for a customer. Yeah, that is good for us. And I mean, some companies, they try to do that. So you start purchasing online uh, to motivate you, right? So, and uh, I, I was saying sometimes it's a good idea for you to check and then go to the store, depending on the, pro uh, on the product, of course. There are some products that you can say, okay, yeah, I can purchase here and receive the product and that's it, right? Very good. Number two says, yes. have, go ahead, I'm sorry. I see. Yes, I have an experience with uh, some, some brands in um, by, by website. It's a good service because uh, uh, I can choose the product in a product uh, without pro problem, it's in my house. That is correct. I mean, that is totally valid. You, uh, I mean, there are many points of view. Maybe the question for you is which products do you purchase online? Uh, for example, uh, furniture in a, in a um, Ferro Centro. Okay. It's a, it's a good, it's a good service, a good furniture. Uh, without problem, he, there are uh, some offer in a website. That is true. They have very good furniture, and uh, yeah, sometimes there are very good offers there on the website. Maybe I had a, an experience that was not bad. I mean, it was a good thing. I remember that I, I bought a bookshelf there in Ferro Centro, and uh, maybe the only problem is that I didn't know that I need to warm. The, the bookshelf so when i i picked it up because uh, they said that there was no delivery i had to go to the store that was not a problem and they they gave me a box and i said oh my goodness what is that uh, maybe i was not sure if at the end i was going to be able to put everything together in a way that is fine but i was able to so um but i mean that was the only thing that they didn't t tell me before hey you need to arm everything uh, I had to do it myself. At the end, it was a good experience. Um, but I wish I could, they could have told me that one. So that is the only thing. But they have very nice furniture. Good pricing sometimes. Good. The question number two says, have you ever received marketing emails inviting you to visit a store to get promotions and discounts? Yes, teacher, and 
Simon online in the store uh, of Simon. Uh, there are a lot of promotions only in the store online, uh, including uh, the other discount additional to the promotion price. Okay, yeah, that happens sometimes. Sometimes it's like uh, you will be able to, you receive some emails, uh, like if you purchase here online, you will have this discount that you won't have in the store. So that's a good thing, right? Teacher, mm -hmm. but, but sometimes I think that is a boost because it's many, many emails to you receive for offer that like you have full your invoice that any promotion when 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 a comer has your address email. Yeah, that is a big problem. All the spam that you receive, right? I mean, yeah. At the end, uh, that happens to me. You know, at the end, I don't open them. I just delete everything. <laughs> Or I just open to click where it says unsubscribe, right? Unsubscribe, I don't yeah. want to receive more emails. So maybe if you receive some pricing from some store, maybe two or three stores, it's fine. But when you receive a lot of emails, that is, it's not good. I guess nobody likes to, to see all those emails there. <laughs> okay. Any other uh, comment about the question number two? Receiving emails with promotions from stores? As Carla said, teacher, a lot of uh, mails. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I say, stop. <laughs> yeah, I, I always open sometimes, them and unsubscribe. Sometimes I, yeah, sometimes I unsubscribe because, uh-uh. <laughs> Yeah, and, and maybe one of the problems is that sometimes you don't subscribe, right? Sometimes you just visit the website once and then, I mean, you enter your information because of something, anything, but it, you didn't subscribe. They didn't yes, ask you. I was wondering how do, how, how do they do that? <laughs> the problem is that, for example, if you, uh, if you are using your computer and your email yes. is logged in there, sometimes yes. they are able to. To get yes. that one from there, so which is not good, right? That yes. is not good. <laughs> okay. Number three says, have you shared a Facebook post about special discounts or offers with your friends? In my case, no t share is is ne never, never shares the post in a Facebook about discount or offer. Okay, very good. Any other opinion? <clears throat> okay, the number four, I guess everybody, right? Have you ordered food from a restaurant's website or application? What do you think? Yes, I have a bad experience with uh, Peridos, yeah. Really? Yes, because I put in an order and I received the confirmation that my order are in process. Uh, one hour later, I check my order. My order was canceled. Uh, I, yeah. I I am wait for my dinner. <laughs> yeah, I remember that you told us about that one. That you were waiting like thirty minutes, and then you realized that there was no food. So that yes. one, yeah, was a, was a bad experience with with the restaurant. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean. If they confirm something, I don't know why they have to cancel after that one, right? So that is yeah. no good. Good. Any other comment about foods that you order from restaurants, websites, or application? Yes, I order some uh, something 
from the app of Wendy's. And I like it because I can see the tracking of my order. And what's, what's uh, amazing because it's in a, in a real time, I see the motorcycle and say, it's here, here. and I, I was taking the time and it's what really because they, the app showed me that uh, the motorcycle was uh, out, of the, out of my house and it, it was very nice. Yeah, that is a very good experience. That is something that we check in logistics and that to track your order or the products that you want to purchase, oh, that is amazing, right? And regarding food, since you are hungry, right? So you, you have expectation about the food. So that is something that you really appreciate, right? That you can, you almost, you almost see the little motorbike saying yes. hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And for the other hand, there are some apps that doesn't have a good uh, tracking and you are wondering, uh, is, my, is my order okay? Is it what's taking on time? You have many, many questions because the app is not uh, friendly. That is true. Sometimes, I mean, when now, now that it's possible for you to track your order, of course, you want to do it and when it's not possible it's like my goodness is he coming uh, or you listen to a motorbike passing by and you say here it comes and it's not so it's pretty sad and yeah maybe in the past we got used to it because uh, we didn't have this but uh, nowadays it's good so what about uh, very good experiences that you have ordering food in apps, did you have, have you ever had a very nice experience, something that happened that is, it was good? Okay, teacher, for me, I, I have the experience. Uh, I frequently as, as order a restaur restaurant. For example, um, anytime um, in Puerto Campero, uh, uh, from chicken, uh, Wendy's, uh, what is it, palillo. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Palillo chino. What do you say? The Chinese palillo. stick. The uh, Chinese stick. Yes, a Chinese, Chinese uh, 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 And anyone, occasion, I have uh, uh, an order, I have, I ask order at the Boyo Campero, but uh, our menu are uh, no no complete. In the moment, I I I call a uh, uh, a service service and and my any any one anyone see. yes one or uh, I send all complete at the at the farm yeah. Okay, very good. So yeah, sometimes there are good experiences and bad experiences. So I never had a very nice experience. It's like normal, right? In the time frame with the food that is like the normal, so that's it. Uh, I never had a very bad experience as well. Um, Carla told us that she had a very bad experience already. So anybody else has had a bad experience ordering food from the applications or websites? I think that not not was a bad experience, but uh, I remember in the year of the pandemic, uh, I uh, we we made a, um, a, a an order. It was it was took about two hours uh, waiting for the food. Two hours. But, yeah, two hours. But I was very passionate. <laughs> Yeah, uh, to be honest with you, for me, uh, that happens to me, but in a physical restaurant. I mean, I was ordering something. Uh, it was very basic food. I mean, it was not a big deal. And uh, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. After like 40 minutes, I, I went and checked about what happened, right? And they say, oh, we forgot 
we forgot that you you ordered this. Oh, it was a very, very bad experience. So that was not good at all. Uh, but that's the only bad experience. So um, in general, let's say that it's good experience for for people that are, are ordering things from the web server application because it's like, I mean, you are going to receive everything nice and everything is on time. So question number five, it says, have you rated business restaurant service in a social network? Have you ever provided reviews about restaurants or businesses? Yes, they share. And for example, there are some restaurants have their their rate or you uh, rate that star how the uh, the uh, any restaurant and you have and you can uh, rate that kind of service do you receive? That is true. So uh, I mean, you will you are able to do it on the website or on Facebook, and Google has also something that is like a review, right? So in, in Google, is more frequently that you receive the 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 the, the option to to rate a restaurant or local or or place do you visit. That is true. That is very, very normal. And the question is, have you ever done that one? Has anybody done a review for restaurants or places? Nobody does that. I really like to do that one, to be honest with you. I do that every time when it's possible. Only I left a bad review to a vet, a clinical veterinarian, but the rest are good reviews, so that is nice. We need to be careful about reviews. Do you remember that in the video, we checked that some of the reviews are fake? So we also need to be careful about that one. Okay, it says uh, how to use transitions of additions. So. We're going to check into this one. Uh, Patricia, could you please read this one? Okay. Transition of addition indicate that the right is using a second idea to depend or clarify, clarify, clarify. The, clarify the first one. Next. Yeah, please. There are disadvantages to e-commerce like limited customer service. In addition, customers have to wait for their products to arrive after ordering. Store retailers generate more money than e-shops besides small online companies are bought by big com companies. Notice how punctuation so associated with trans transition varies. E-commerce is reliable <laughs> from of electronic transaction. Furthermore, it allows users to process online. E-commerce is convenient. Moreover, it allows retailers to offer more products than the ones in the store. Very good. So transitions of additions, uh, these kind of words are words that are going to help us to put together two ideas. The first one is when you explain something and then you add, you add more information about the first idea. So there are two ideas that are together. The second one is like more information about the first idea. So that is the only thing. And there are different words that we can use for this one. For example, in addition. So that is something that is very similar than in Spanish. Besides, so also it's like a plus information that you are going to get. Furthermore, moreover, the meaning of the words are very similar and the usage is very similar. There are many words 
because if you are, for example, writing an essay or if you are writing a paragraph or a story, a review about something, you don't need to use the same word once and again. You can change the words so you can get something that is very professional, very nice. So that's why there are many words about this one. So we are checking here two words, in addition, besides, furthermore, and moreover. So let's check the examples. It says, there are disadvantages to e-commerce like limited customer service. In addition, remember that there, we're going to set a semicolon. That is important. In addition, so semicolon and in addition, comma, that is also very important. Customers have to wait for the products to arrive after ordering. So that is it, okay? Then the other one it says, stores retailers generate more money than e-shops, semicolon. Besides, comma, small online companies are bought by big companies. So it's a sec the second uh, is a, an idea that we add to the first idea. And it says, notice how punctuation associated with transition varies. So it says, e-commerce is a reliable from electronic transaction. So semicolon. Furthermore, comma, it allows user to purchase online. Another way for us to use this one is like this. E-commerce is convenient, period. Moreover, comma, it allows retailers for or offer to offer more products than the ones in the stores. So we can use it in both ways. We can use semicolon, then the transition word, then the comma. Or we can separate the two ideas with a period. So we can use the period, then the transition word, and then comma. Both are going to be good. Okay, now, do you have any question about this? Questions, my friends? In, in what moment use uh, cada word? Whatever you want, but I will explain in Spanish, okay? Las palabras in addition, besides, furthermore, y moreover se utilizan para unir dos ideas. La segunda idea agrega valor a la primera idea. Como cuando decimos en español, el inglés es muy importante. Además de su importancia, abre puertas. So, ese además, eso es estas palabras. In addition, besides, furthermore, moreover. So you are going to use it when you add value in a second idea to the first idea. So that is going to be. Is it indistinctly, teacher? Yeah, you can use this word or other word the way that you need. Okay. Any word, yeah. Any, any word? Yeah, any word. In, in a exercise in platform, use any, any word? Uh, that depends. Uh, I guess the exercise is exactly this one that we have here. So don't worry about that one. If you have problems, of course, you can check with me, okay? So let's okay. do the exercise, of course. Complete the sentences related to e-commerce. Use a word from the box and the correct punctuation. So the important part also is the punctuation. That, my friends, is very, very, very important. So, uh, number one, it says, email marketing is very important to e-commerce. Aha. Uh -huh. And then it says, customers usually open their emails even if they only include advertisement. So, what will be that one? How is it going to be? Good morning. We can use furthermore, okay? But remember that we're going to use semicolon, furthermore, comma. 
So that is very important, okay? Very, very important. Number two, it says create a lot of original content. Uh-huh. We use already for them. So how is going to be this one? Besides. Besides. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be content, semicolon, besides, comma, and that's it. Number three. What, semico what, what say semicolon? Semicolon, what punto say sem y coma. Okay, and after the words. After content in this one. After content, okay. After content, yeah, that is it. Okay, user generated content is a good way to build interaction with cons consumers. Uh huh. Moreover, we can use moreover, definitely. So, semicolon, moreover, mm -hmm. comma, customers, I'm um, uh, no, consumers, semicolon, uh, moreover, advertisement, but comma, advertisement will not cost much on your end. And the last one, it says, it's common for e-commerce stores to sell items to people all over the world. Uh -huh. In addition. Okay, in addition. So, semicolon, in addition, cost, uh, comma, customers feel welcomed with translation features integrated to your e-commerce services. So, as you can see, it's easy. Maybe the one that we need to be careful is the punctuation. The punctuation in English is very, very important. And my friends, we finish the book. Great. Let's go to bed. No, it's not time yet. So we're going to continue with a little reading that I have here because I knew we will need something like this. So this is like um, the rise of e-commerce size and things like that. We're going to start reading. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go with first. Rose, could you please read the first one? Ace, the rise, yeah. Yeah, please. Okay, the rise of e-commerce sites. The increase in a in e-commerce websites help people a lot, a, lot, a lot. Without going anywhere, they like to buy online and they are also benefited by getting paid various offers and discounts. Beside this, people love, the, love to purchase by taking the consent of friends, spouse, and other family members. Additionally, it is more convenient and people can give any product to their friends and loved ones through these websites. Very good. What did you understand on this one? Mm. Nowadays, the e-commerce, the sites of e-commerce are growing because all the people eh, want to buy and get discounts by this, uh, by this, how do you say, by, by this way. <clears throat> Very good, perfect. So definitely, I mean, uh, one advantage of uh, purchasing online is that you can ask everybody in the house, right? Hey, look at this. Do you believe it's a good thing? Do you believe, uh, and they uh, research with you and everybody's there checking so many things. So that's a very good thing about this. Nice. So uh, the second paragraph is for Anna Selmy. Customer get better shopping experience. E-commerce industry has changed. The process of business, of business and cash transaction. Now it has introduced a lot of new modern and useful factors by which customers enjoy easy and hassle free shopping. Anybody can purchase at 
the top of the bottom and receive the product at the doorstep. Thus, the customers depend more on the e-commerce marketplace. Good, what it's, did you get? It's related to the shame uh, of experience for Porsches. And now uh, the customer, um, the customer has, um, the customers have uh, the better experience with the, the process of purchase online because the process is easy in compare easily maybe more the the customer feel more comfortable to buy in online okay very good actually that is so true and you got it very well so yeah it's easier and the way that we make transactions and things like that. So the next one, faultless payment process. That is going to be for uh, Sandra Gladys. Faultless payment process. Yeah, please. The most popular thing about e-commerce industry is its mode of payments. Most of the case, the payment is done digitally here by knowing the convenience and other advantages of digital payment. People gradually adopting the process. Equalities and cheap cars are increasing the business. The technological advancement have gained the fine in people and they like spend more on, on e-commerce good size because of its transparency and the safety of money. Safety. Okay, so uh, what safety. did you understand on this one, Sandra? Uh, to make more popular e-commerce uh, Trolls, troll, uh, target, um, credit, target credit, uh, credit card, include credit card, includes a uh, payment, payment, uh, uh, payment for for purchase, uh, Mm, articles uh, increase adopting the process. Okay, very good, perfect. So yes, uh, transparency and safety when you pay online now is much better. So now everybody trusts more in this kind of processes, right? That's what it says, faultless payment process. So faultless is like with no problem, with no missing things, uh, you don't worry about that one. So that is a very good thing. It's not easy about, about payment in restaurant, in supermarkets. That is true, it's much easier, definitely. Okay, the next one, give personalized information is uh, for Carla Vasquez. Give personal information in B2B sector. As companies changing to B2B e-commerce, increasing real-time procure procurement data that will be gathered. The B2B e-commerce competitor access in data the better understand the action of the customer and provide service according to the data. Good, what do you understand on this one? I don't 
I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay, so it's, it says give personalized information in, maybe the first question is B2B. Do you remember what is B2B? Nothing, teacher, B2B, nothing. Actually, business to business. Business. business to business. Business to yeah. business. Good. Yeah, that's something we learned here. So business to business. So that means that uh, they increase the, uh, the way that they are going to make business with other people in a very personal way. I mean, customized way. Some comp companies, they need something different than other companies. And you are able to give them exactly what they need. To company, to company our business. Exactly. So maybe business. Uh, business to business. So one business sells to other business. Remember that sometimes we have suppliers, right? There are some companies that supply other companies so you can get the products and services that you need. Good. Bad company. Mm, what do you mean bad companies? Okay. Okay. Okay, artificial intelligence. That is for Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. Not possible. Okay, Adriana. Hello. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Artificial intelligence intelligence improves the e-commerce industry. Artificial artificial intelligence will find a huge transformation in B2B e-commerce. It is different from B2C e-commerce as there are large numbers of users and use cases but B2B commerce will have fewer numbers of users. Those do large ticket transaction on the restricted use case. In this case, B2B commerce will apply and adopt, adopt it uh, e, uh, eagerly. eagerly. eagerly as it is very uh, uncomplicated and powerful. Business, businesses get efficient by doing effective decision making, uh, making and uh, purchases, computation of several routine tasks, offering important insight, release several main goals behind procurement uh, and doing business purchases clear and low cost. What did you understand on this one? Mm, I think mm, um, I think uh, exist um, transformation and and in the trans transition in, in B2C, the business to customer, and business to business. And maybe um, mention um, 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 more easy. Easier. And uh, that, uh -huh, because that number that cases <clears throat> uh, are large and very difficult in taxation and the ticket. And I think um, um, mentioned in that paragraph. Okay, perfect. Very good, thank you, Adrian. Uh, yes, technology is something very important and that you, we need to implement into the companies, right? So everything is going to be easier and not that complicated efficient, many things. Good. So uh, the next one is for Gloria.
Hello, Gloria. Excuse me, teacher. I... ¿Cómo decirle? Tengo la vista cansada y no puedo leer. Ok, no worries. Disculpen. Ok, uh, Pamela, could you please read this one? Uh, decision making during this one. Yeah, please. Um, decision making during to pro procurement process. Usually, the procurement managers and execu executives those work to corporate find difficulties in making choices during the procurement process. Since since it will impose pressure or development and the business of the company of many level. Technical advance, advancements will also help to procurement team or businesses to better comprehend the requirements of the business and provide them fair insight, insight to do more of the date complicated decisions. Like, I continue. Yeah, please. Additionally, business to business e commerce companies will make personalized dashboard for their customer, and this will let, let them know about essential data, data points and billion suggestions. In the coming days, the personalization will be advanced by combining APIs with the buyers. Active er, ERP, CRM, Flatmore, to make the process more controlled as, and seamless. Uh, Those to today technologies role in the commerce is una, in a available in a una, faultless on on available of and fearless. The success of e-commerce is based on the right from the beginning to each and every process happening every time in the industry. Okay, very good. What did you get into this one? Mm. Mm. Mm, no, I don't know. No, I don't know how can how can I explain. Okay, don't worry. So this is about decision making. I mean, during the process. Uh, so whenever you, I mean, this is something that is very basic and also very important. Whenever you are doing any processes of uh, getting an e-commerce, you need to understand how it's going to be, how it's going to be the creation. Understanding that customers need friendly user. Uh, platforms, many things that are going to be very important for the business to succeed. So that will be it. good, good. It's almost nine and it's time for us to check the attendance. So let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Sermi Chévez. Present, teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin López Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posa de Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. 
Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Mira, oh, este maestro hoy no me selló bien el reloj. Mira cómo anda de agua. <risa> <laughs> the watch, the watch, that's not possible. I, I went to get a uh, fix uh, my watch, but the, <laughs> the fixer doesn't work well. Not good. You need to change the clock master. No, but it, it is so expensive, this clock, this watch, teacher. But you... I, I, it's new. <laughs> it's, it's new watch. No, no it, is, it is... You so, roll it. it roll it. All this. No, it is, it is a eco. It's a good Original. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I paid uh, five dollars. Nah, it is a joke. No, but um, in, in Santa Ana, in the downtown, uh, there are a, a, a older fixer watches. But it, it is so, it is so, so good. But, but now, it made a, a bad, bad job because the, the, he, he didn't close well my watch. He might. Because, so, yes, because I, I, I went to get a shower in the afternoon, but the watch tell me the, the weather. Predice el clima porque todo lleno de agua está. Very good. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ok, no worries. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present issue. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Eh, Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie mm. Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Okay, so we are going to continue. We are going to watch a little video and then discuss about, about what you believe is going to happen in the world in the 2050. Uh -huh. What is going to happen? We don't know. Uh, but by now we're going to see a video and then analyze. Give me your comments on what is on the video and what is your opinion, what is going to happen in the future in that year. Okay, so here we go. The year 2050 mites from now is no easy to learn free, accurate picture. In today's video, today's video we'll first what will transport all new cars being electric. 50, more than 50% of the vehicles on the road are predicted to be EVs. And that's not all. Not only will cars are making leaps and bounds in terms of development, and by 2050, we can expect self-driving vehicles to be a part of everyday life. Most trucking will be undertaken by autonomous haulers, working day and night, only stopping to load up their batteries on high-speed chargers, using advanced AI to navigate their way through busy city streets. Even our personal cars could be geared more towards being driven around as opposed to actually driving around as they are currently. Expect to see vehicles with stowaway steering wheels and more leisurely see different by the year 2050. Uber Elevate should be in full swing, allowing people to travel via EV toll in and around cities. Elon Musk's Hyperloop could potentially be in place, which will see passengers traveling at speeds of over 700 miles per hour through giant low-pressure tubes between cities, states, and even countries in record time. Travel as a whole will essentially be faster, more efficient, and better for the environment if all goes to plan. And if billionaires such as Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have their way, Travel into space might be a possibility too. Space tourism seems like a fun idea, making stints in space a legitimate travel business by 2050. Space tourism will likely be reserved for the ultra rich for the foreseeable future, but by 2050, a trip into orbit, to the International Space Station, or even to the moon might be as easy as purchasing a long haul flight to Australia. SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, and a few others are all pushing the envelope to make space tourism a reality. SpaceX is even due to take Japanese billionaire Yusaku Meizawa around the moon as early as 2023, although this is an incredibly optimistic date to say the least. Technology is certainly keeping up with the forward-thinking, ambitious minds of today, but whether or not this is entirely a good thing is yet to be discovered. There's no question that technology is changing the way we work significantly, so what can we expect the job market to look like by 2050? Some have predicted that up to 40% of current job roles could be lost to automation, so it's not just Uber drivers stuck on this sinking ship. Fact likely will before the year 2050. Even white-collar tasks in the fields of accounting, marketing, law, etc. all have the potential to be replaced by AI. 
This will result in a massive shift in the kinds of jobs that people do, and the transitional stage will be by far the most challenging. In the years leading up to a vastly automated workforce, it will be the survival of the most adaptable. There will be very few jobs for life, and most workers will be forced to learn new skills and delve into new traits. The plus side, however, is that there will be a huge and real one-to-one -one interaction. Healthcare, teaching and the creatives will all be thriving sectors, as will engineers, mechanics and repairmen. Other positives to this automation process could, in theory, be deeper to run and are far more efficient, so despite the force a drop in price for many things, including cars, electronic goods and even food. Shopping for any said items will be far easier too. Online shopping is already making shopping on the internet easier and more in thanks to improvements in drone technology. Amazon is pushing a new initiative known as Prime Air, pounds or less via drone, to your doorstep in less than 30 minutes. Prime Air is already being tested and is deep into likely to be a standard service. Unless our foreseeable future, one thing that is for certain is that the global population will increase significantly. There are currently around 7.8 billion people on this little planet we call Earth, and by 2050, this number is predicted to rise to a staggering 9.7 billion. With cities bursting at the seams, agriculture being pushed to its limit, and government services at maximum capacity, making room for an additional 1.9 billion humans is not going to come easy. The extra mouths to feed, bodies to clothe, and people to house will certainly see some big changes in these industries. More people essentially means that the planet will need more of everything, which will most likely fuel the big raging fire we like to call climate change. Global warming is a legitimate threat, and it's only going to be more noticeable by the year 2050 if we do nothing about it, that is. Getting the planet carbon neutral is a long shot for sure, but it is possible. As a result, by 2050, the majority, around 86%, of the planet's energy will most likely be derived from renewable sources such as solar and wind, with various breakthroughs in renewable energy entirely. For example, ocean thermal might become a big player in the world's energy production in the next 30 years. Being one of the few constant energy sources available day and night, year raf fuel based generation and renewables that require storage and grid balancing. Green energy will certainly help to bring the planet's carbon footprint down to a minimum and will also further encourage the entire transport sector to go green as 50. And potentially a lot to be worried about are inevitable and welcome rising sea levels, animal extinction and record breaking. Okay, what did we get from this video? Um, we can uh, weigh in the future the important change in different sectors. Uh, for example, the sector of transportation, uh, the advances related to the, the technology for the different ways of transportation uh, is big, including the, the transportation out the heart. Um, the other, the other sector is the industry. Uh, I in the sector transportation, the the old technology, the result uh, is more efficient, more is more is the transportation faster in compared with with now the the. Um, the other sector, for example, this, the industry uh, related to the production of the food. Um, in the future, in the 2050, the industry uh, may be uh, the production uh, can be cheaper in compared with, with now. The other sector, the the production of energy. I believe that this sector, uh, we, we will have a good surprise in the future related to the production of the energy because uh, now there are a lot of, um, a lot of different way to production energy, the air, the, the sun, the, sol, the solar energy. Solar is right, teacher. Solar energy, yeah. Solar energy, the... The water. Yes, the the water. Hydro, it, hydroelectric. Uh, yeah, hydroelectric. Hydroelectric. And in 2050, the shame, 
maybe is uh, big for these sectors of the economic sectors. Yeah, actually, yeah, everything that I said it was very interesting. Uh, transportation was one of the most interesting. Also, energy. I don't know. It, it, do you believe that really is going to happen something like that? Like the drones for delivery, I believe that is very close. But the rest of the things, do you believe is possible? Anybody wants I travel, to? I travel to the moon picture. <laughs> I don't believe it, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I am going to the moon the next Sunday. <laughs> uh, now, the, the owner of the Tesla. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. I he, he, he went to the moon. Yes, he oh is investing in related to the the travels to the moon, to the moon or to the Mars. Mars. <laughs> that is true. I mean, I'm going to pass my my weekend on Mars. <laughs> hey, my, where are you going to go on vacations? To Mars. To Mars. To Mars. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah. amazing. Ro robots. I don't know. I I was uh, I don't know. I was uh, oh my god! I forget the word. I was um, I don't I don't believe so much that robbers conquer the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, it's kind of difficult. Go ahead. Yeah, but maybe we don't know. Okay. Good. Any other opinion about the video? Okay, teacher. Uh, in 2015, uh, is a chain in everything. In energy, for example, eolic is the energies of the future. Uh, I work correct. Mm -hmm. Electric. I electric. Uh -huh. Hydroelectric. Hydroelectric. Uh -huh. Hydroelectric and uh, the transportation service transportation in modern trunks. I imagine. Yeah, that would yeah. be very good, right? I mean, imagine that if we have an automatic uh, navigation in the car probably we won't have a lot of accidents, right? Because many of the accidents are caused by human. Of course, it's possible that they do something wrong or that the core has some failure, but maybe that is going to be a good thing, I guess. Okay, any other comment about the video? Okay, and I have a question. What do you believe is going to happen in the 2050? What is going to happen? I think that um, in, the, in the way that the human is, uh, is uh, oh my God, in the way in the in the way that the that the planet is is getting the environment the con, the, pol the pollution is getting more and more uh, uh, strong i think uh, i don't know teacher many things can happen talking about the environment and, and the 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 overflows, can I say overflows? Yeah, overflow. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Overflows in the world. Uh, earthquakes, I don't know, teacher. Talking about uh, the earth in general, but talking about technology, many things can happen. Many, many crazy things. I, I can I call maybe we can have oleograms 
in the movies are are uh, in the movies. <laughs> For example, imagine uh, when they um, in Star Wars uh, they can create the Princess Leia. Imagine in that way that the movie can do that. It's a crazy, it's a crazy thing. Also in the series of the uh, the Mandalorian, mm -hmm. they they um, they recreate uh, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is about seven, seven, sixteen, or I don't remember the age, but he he show they show us he as as he was young. It's a it's a crazy. Oh my god! I don't I don't believe. How how do they can that? <laughs> but in technology, many many crazy things can happen. That is according, true. According according to uh, a research teacher, it's possible that the new generation, the centennials, the new I don't know what is the new nom the new name in the, in the future they are more conscient related to the, the, the problem with the environment. And it's possible, a shame for, it's possible, according to the, the research. They can rescue the, the planet. The, yes, but depend, depend the actions. The, the conscience that they have. The, exactly. But depend, but there is a we hope a we, we hope. hope so. <laughs> yes, there is a hope. And in my slight positive, <laughs> I wait that in the future the the technology uh, the technology. Uh, do you say, but now teacher depend of the conflict with the economic uh, interest because um, the new technology is possible to improve the cure. It's, it's right, cure. Yeah, cure, uh -huh. cure oh, for yeah. example, uh, different cancers. Yeah, in medicine, maybe there yes, will be for the great... like medicine or the the technology helps for um, sophisticated operations because the technology permit the the access to to uh, you say part of the body uh, delicate, but um, the the interest of economic is uh, how do you say teacher? Um, it's a conflict. It's conflict because the technology is possible exists, but the important is the access for the. Majority, no, majority, no, all yeah, the majority of people, huh? The majority of people. This is my opinion. Okay, very good. It's interesting because you say something that is true. I mean, maybe the environment can be cured, can be changed, but there are many companies, millionaire companies, that they will lose a lot of money and the economy of countries. I mean, it's very complex. It's very complex. Okay, uh, any other comment about the video or what do you believe is going to happen in the 2050? For me, teacher, uh, it's near change, global change, everything in science, technology, a military force and religion include uh, uh, in 2015 
total change in the world. Uh, that, that is right in the, the Bible. Yeah, many things I, 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 are happening, right? Yeah, yes, teacher, I, I see. Yeah, there are many changes happening uh, and, well, I don't know what is going to happen. Uh, the world is changing a lot, sometimes for good, sometimes for bad. So, and the problem is that we just need to, uh, we cannot do anything. I mean, we just need to live our lives, protect our families, and that's it, right? There's nothing else we can just wait for a better chance in the future. Good, anyways, we are going to have another activity right now, okay? Um, so this is a very nice activity. Lourdes, are you ready? Yes. Good, so Lourdes is going to sing and dance a beautiful song today. No, it's not true. She's going to do a dictation. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so please everybody bring some paper and pencil. And Lourdes is going to dictate you a paragraph. So it's going to be a little bit different because she's going to make it, not me. Next time it's going to be somebody else's. And let's see how it goes. But this time it's Lourdes, okay? So Lourdes is going to be very slow dictating, I mean, three words, four words slowly and please at the end lower this repeat all the paragraph whenever you finish okay please repeat all the paragraphs so um everybody is ready i mean do you have the pencil and the and the paper already do you need more time so don't you need more time I'm ready, teacher. Ready. Okay. So, Lourdes, you can start. Okay. English is currently... English is currently... The language... The language... of the internet of the internet period an estimated an estimated of 565 million of 565 million people use people use the internet every day People use the internet every day. In about in about fifty two per cent. of the words of the words most visited most visited websites are displayed websites are displayed in English, period. In English, period.
period. Therefore, comma, therefore, comma, learning this language, learning this language, gives access, gives access to over half to over half the content of the internet the content of the internet Which might, which might not be available, not be available otherwise, period not be available available otherwise period whether it is whether it is for fun or for work, for fun, or for work, comma. If you understand English, if you understand English, comma, You will be able, able, you will be able, you will be able to exchange, to exchange information with, information with, more people, more people online and use, online and use many more materials, period. Many more materials. Finish. Okay, so now uh, Lourdes is going to read all the paragraph for you to check, okay? Ah, uh, yes, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, English is currently the language of the internet. An estimated of 565 million people use the internet every day and about 52% of the world's most visited websites are displayed in English. Therefore, learning this language give, gives access to over half the content of the internet, which might not be available otherwise. Whether it is for fun or for work, if you understand English, you will be able to exchange information with more people online and use many more materials. Perfect. Thank you very much. So now I'm going to present you 
the paragraph and you are going to check. Okay, let's see how it goes. So that is it. Uh, it was something like this. English is currently the language of the internet. An estimated of 565 million people use the internet every day and about 52% of the world's most visited websites are displayed in English. Therefore, learning this language gives access to over half the content of the internet, which might not be available otherwise. Whether it is for fun or for work, if you understand English, you will be able to exchange information with more people online and use many more materials. Now, please check what are the correct ones, maybe the wrong ones. Those are interesting and check how many you have, okay? I will give you a couple of minutes for you to check. Okay, do you have any questions about any word or uh, pronunciation or anything like that? No questions. Okay, let's see. Somebody here had three mistakes or less. Three teacher. Good. Uh -huh. Three. The preposition. Confuse the, the the sounds. Yes. Okay. What are? Um. In two, <laughs> two and teacher and is M. Is million or millions? Million. And in that case, is million people. Million. No millions. No, no millions. Million. Ah, I write millions. Okay. And the words. I have a was mistake missing, in which was missing the apostrophe. Ah, okay. The possessive apostrophes. And then weather, 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 weather. But sounds like weather, no? It's very similar. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was I was wondering weather. <laughs> weather. <laughs> but I say weather, no, 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 it's not weather. And that's the way because I have bad this word. <laughs> Actually, you have two uh, that were very difficult. I mean, with weather, it's going to be, the pronunciation is very slightly different, but it's yes. not that much. I mean, weather is the climate and weather yeah. uh -huh. is this one. <laughs> weather, I listen to weather. <laughs> the key with that word is that uh, in this case, for example, it says whether it is for fun or. Uh -huh, yeah, I say weather. No, weather is not for fun. <laughs> so in this case, or, the uh -huh. or, is giving you an option that is two ah, options. I mean, okay. so this mm -hmm. is like if, if it is mm -hmm. for fun or, uh -huh. so that is the key. Uh -huh. And okay. with the other one, with worlds, yeah, the apostrophe, I mean, you cannot the do worlds. anything with that one. And that the one, worlds. what you need to do is to check the context. 
the words must be see the website so there might be uh, something that I guesses. write words but not with apostrophe yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that is yeah that is difficult those are the difficult yeah. ones good good any other comments about anything else here Okay, so, um, very good pronunciation, Lourdes. She made a very good job. Next time, uh, any other of you is going to do this or other activities. So since we are in intermediate level, you are able to do some other activities. Sometimes, uh, I mean, if we were in presential classes, uh, at the end of the module, sometimes we ask a presentation. So you need to go and present something. But uh, online is a little bit more difficult. So we're not gonna do that part here. Good, good. So today is Friday and we have time for practicing. I know this module, we haven't had a lot of chances to practice, but it's a good idea for us to practice anyways. So um, do you want to do free topic for everybody or do you want to do uh, conversations, individual conversations? What do you prefer? I'm listening to you. Your opinion is very important. Please provide feedback. What is better for you? Okay, no opinions. Individual, right? It's much better because in that way, we're going to check some many other things. So let's see. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Gloria. Hello, Gloria. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, not, not so. more or less but it's friday don't worry so we finish the class and you can go to the discotheque or to bed of course that depends on you i will sleep more 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 i'm sorry i am sleeping with the conversation you are going to be awake and with energy good so, tell me, Gloria. Um, I, I, I'm um, donor. I, my eye. Mm -hmm. Me duele en los ojos mucho. Really? Why? Can I ask you why? Uh, very, 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 uh, very much uh, work. Ah, uh, you work too much. Me too. You know. The computer. Um, Every day. Ah, that is, yeah. I'm on the computer from a uh, seven in the morning until twelve. I mean midnight in my entire thing. Anyways, you can close your eyes, relax, and speak with me. So that is a good thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. it, it, yes, my my sister. Um, uh, my sister, uh, Gloria. <laughs> Speaking, speaking here. No, I don't. <laughs> no, estoy. <laughs> Not no. here. Come tomorrow. <laughs> like, okay. No, but it's a, it's a good practice. But of course, if you, if you want to close your eyes and relax, that is fine. Um, actually, we can make a, a relaxing exercise. You know, you can close your eyes and breathe. You know, you can. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. It's um, Namaste. I'm sorry? Namaste. Well, uh, I mean, relaxing, meditation, many things like that are very good. I believe that it's very good for us to practice that one because I know that we live in a world that we live very stressed out and a lot of things happening. I mean, you know that that is for sure and uh, 
but we have only one life. So you need to relax, uh, have a balance. That is, that is the key. I believe that the key of life is that balance. Work and also rest. Enjoy and also uh, learn things. So give and take. Life yeah. is about that one. I say that, but my boss doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. That happens sometimes. But the good thing, as I was telling you, is it's Friday and after the class, you yeah. will sleep. Do you work tomorrow? Yes. All day long. Uh, at the, uh, eight, 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 Okay, the morning on. So in the afternoon, go to the salon, relax. I mean, I, 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 I'm not a girl, but I believe that if you go to the salon and they wash your hair, I believe that is relaxing, right? I, I believe. Uh, yes, on Sunday, I'm going to Reforest uh, in the Libertad. It's relaxed. That's important. Relax. Yeah. Relax in the ways that you can. You need to relax because we only have one life. I mean, the job is going to stay there and everything is going to stay there. Uh, but you are important. So you need to relax as well. Thank you, teacher. Very good, Gloria. Okay. Close your eyes and relax. I will continue with other person. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Any volunteer? Maybe I need to ask. We can speak about anything that you want to speak, but in English. No volunteers. Okay, let's see. Carla. Hey, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Nice. Happy because it's Friday. Oh my goodness, it's Friday. And that is very, very good. Anyway, <clears throat> um, how are your pets doing? They're, they are good, all good. <laughs> nice. I really love cats, you know. I, I yeah. Something funny happened to me. I had a cat. He was with us around two years, something like that. Amazing. He was beautiful, many things. But he always goes out, you know, as any cat. He goes out with his friends and party all night. And he comes in the morning, things like that. But then one cousin, uh, that is not you, another cousin. <laughs> another cousin with a cat. <laughs> Actually, no, with a dog. Uh, oh, okay. he, he got, a, as a gift, a big dog, but he was huge. I mean, I mean, have you ever seen that movie from the dog that is called Beethoven? Oh, yeah. Like that. Beethoven is a, is a uh, San Bernardo. Exactly. Oh. That kind of dogs. So he had that, that big dog. But he, he didn't want, I mean, he says to me, do you want the dog? I can give you the dog. And it was beautiful. And I said, yes, yes, I can get the dog. So I bring it to my house. And the cat was outside. I mean, on the street with his friends. At night, the cat came in. And we, when he saw the dog, he was scared. He was terrified. He was like, oh, yeah. And things like that, and he went away, and he disappears. <laughs> he didn't come back. Actually, I say to my cousin, I don't want the dog anymore because the cat is he he's scared. But I don't have the I don't have the dog, and I don't have the cat because the cat went away. He disappears. He never came back. Yes, it's very di uh, difficult that's a cat and dog to have a relation a good relationship for example in my case i have my two cats 
uh, since uh, 2015. Uh, and Tammy uh, come back on 2016, one year later. And when Tammy got to the house, was a uh, very, very difficult because uh, I improvised a, 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 a area uh, uh, for, for, uh, for that Tammy to stay, uh, stay um, comfortable. Comfortable. A constable, yes, constable. Uh, and that uh, the cat only to sit uh, for now, uh, Tammy, but was uh, two or three weeks, uh, they, they are have a contact and now sleep together play together. Uh, Tammy thinks that she's a uh, owner of the cat. Uh, it's a better relationship between they. Yeah, I mean, I know it's possible. For example, when my, that cat came to the house, he, well, he was a little baby. We had another dog, but it was a small dog and they played together. They were very like brothers. They were very nice. But then somebody stole the dog. I don't know what happened with the dog. He was outside and he also disappeared. I don't know, something's going on with people. So so he had a friend as a, as a dog. And that's what I, I didn't believe there was going to be a problem with the other dog, but he didn't like it. He just yeah. escaped, so. <laughs> yeah. If Ken to, to that cat and dog have a good relationship. That is true. It's that possible. Is true. Yes. That is true. It's possible. Good. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Jose Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm very fine, teacher. And you? How is it going? Very tired, you know, this week was crazy, but I'm happy. I'm here, I'm alive, and I'm with you. So <laughs> <laughs> it is important, teacher. Very good. So I remember that you like uh, rock music, right? Yes, teacher. Very good. By any chance, do you play any instrument? No, teacher, I don't have the, the opportunity. But to would learn you like to learn? learn? Yes, teacher, I, I would like to learn to play the guitar. The guitar, that is the instrument that you would like? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. If you had the chance to play the guitar, what kind of uh, music would you create? Uh, what like of music? I mean, I know there's going to be rock, but it's going to be, uh, it should be, or it will be really heavy music or like not that heavy. What do you believe? Uh, no, not that heavy. Uh, maybe to begin, uh, that, uh, the the song more than words. <laughs> ah, so is that one of uh, your favorite songs? Is that, well, I think it's it's easy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not that difficult actually. It has some tricks, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's not that difficult. Yeah. Uh, have you heard that that song, teacher? Yeah, I have heard that. I I, mm -hmm. I never played that one, but I heard that one. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, have you ever gone to any concerts? Yes, uh, when I remained and came to El Salvador. Oh, I remember you told me that one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, in general, but <laughs> it was, um, I, I, excuse me teacher, I confused the, the, the time. I feel uh, very excited when Iron Maiden uh, played the, I don't remember the, the... excuse me teacher, it's uh, on the tip of my tongue. 
Yes. Okay, don't worry. And have you Hollow heard... by the name. Oh, that is one of the <laughs> best by the songs name. That, uh -huh. so that song is amazing. And it's, they play that song in every concert, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it is amazing. It's amazing and it's, the lyrics are fantastic and the music, I mean, it's a perfect song. Yes, it's, and it was a good show. Yeah, the, I mean. You remember, it's a big show, teacher. The fire. <laughs> yeah. For the songs that in the, in the on the back, there was different a different picture, right? So that was amazing. Yes, it, it's a, a totally uh, a good show in, in the big screen. Yeah. And how Bruce Dickinson was running. I mean, ah. <laughs> that yes. was amazing. I mean, every uh, And I, I remember, uh, I don't remember specifically the person that follows. Uh, I don't remember how, how. It was a person that fall. And that I fell off there on the concert. Ah, yes. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, but it's true. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. Uh -huh. also another thing that I really liked about that one is the, the sound. I mean, when you go to other concerts, for example, I, I was in the concert from Testament and I was there. Uh -huh. I mean, it was a noise. I mean, it was very strong, but the noise was too much. But with uh -huh. animating, since they have their own equipment, I mean, the volume and everything was very high, but you can understand everything. So everything was very good and didn't disturb your ear. That was very good. Mm -hmm. The sound was powerful, but not disturbing. Exactly. So mm -hmm. the, the equipment that they have, I mean, it's, it's another level, right? It's something different. Yes. Yes, it's good. How do you say inolvidable, unforgettable? Unforgettable, that's what. Unforgettable, teacher, experience, an unforgettable experience. Have you heard that? Some, uh, they, they say that there is there is a rumor that they say that the Red Hot Chili Peppers are coming also. Ah, uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, there is a rumor it's, for that one. Maybe at the end of It the sounds year. great because uh, I like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, so we're going to meet there if they come. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, perfect. Thank you, Jose. Thanks to you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. I guess we have chance for one more. Any volunteer for the last one for this week? Do you play the guitar, teacher? I'm sorry? Do you play the guitar? I play the guitar, I play the drums, I play the bass guitar. Oh Actually, I play in a band. Oh, what kind of music do you play? Well, we play rock music, uh, different kinds of music. For example, right now, we are working in a special um, number that is going to be the Beatles and Credence, Clearwater mm, River. Nice, oh my God. And where in... Where do you play with the band? With different bars, you know, uh, mostly here in, in, in Santa Ana, uh, sometimes in Aguachapan, Chalchuapa. Uh, nice. Sometimes we go to San Salvador, to some places. Okay. I guess we're going to bring that show to, what is the name? There is a bar in San Salvador that they want us to go and play Credence, yeah, Medieval. Mm -hmm. We're going to be there. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. So it's very nice, you know. Yeah. I'm always very busy because I have two <laughs> jobs and I have a motorbike. Sometimes I go out just to relax and I play the, with a band. I like to read. I do interviews for a, for a TV show. Uh, the interviews are for metal bands in, in Europe. So I made the interviews in English and I do the translation into Spanish, do the subtitles. So I'm very busy. Yeah, all in the time. Europe there are many, many famous uh, bands. I like one. I like Avantasia. Did you hear it? Avantasia is one. Yeah. Amazing one. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. The music is nice. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah. I didn't know and, that you like that kind of music. That's nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> I like it. <laughs> what what other bands do you like? Uh, oh my god. I like um Credence, I like it. I oh, like uh, Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses is good as well. Oh, there was another band uh, from Europe. I forget the name, but oh my god. There are I have I have some of some of them. They they play a good really good music. Yeah, I mean there are lots of bands, lots of music with different styles, with different rhythms, different lyrics. It's, it's amazing. Also, you uh, your band play English music. English and Spanish, yeah. And Spanish, ah, oh, in yeah. Spanish, what kind of a group uh, do you play? Well, sometimes we depending on the bar where you where we go. Uh, okay. I mean, some some people they ask music from Enanitos Verdes, Stereo, things like that. Okay. Uh, I remember once we made a special of Mago de Oz, which was oh, very nice. popular. Yes. So it was it was good. You know, I really like the environment. Is uh, we do it because of the music. I know that the payment is not that good, but, but I mean, do you enjoy? We enjoy. I mean. Yeah. That is the most important that that's we are there the, with people. Yeah, that's the that's the object, I think. Enjoy. That is true. Yeah. And the good thing is that we connect with other people, we meet other people. So it's very nice. Yes. yes. It's very nice. Good. Nice. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rose. Okay, my friends, it seems that this is the end of the class of today. Because the last class is next week. So please remember to finish the, um, the platform, everything. Okay. We need to finish section one, section two, section three, section four, the midterm test and the final test. For Monday has to be done everything. So if you have questions, I will try my best sometimes during the weekend. I don't see the WhatsApp that very often, but I try. I try my best to, to check onto that one. I know that some of you finished already. So that is good. That is amazing. And uh, try to do that one. Also remember that we're going to do the survey, the INSA for survey next Monday. Remember that you need to be ready to copy and paste. Did you receive that already, right? You have the information. Right, teacher, the link. today. Yes, yes, teacher. Very good. So now we just need to be ready for the next yes. Monday. Good. To copy and paste. Remember that also we need to send the screenshot when you finish that one. And that's it. On Monday, we're going to watch some videos and we're going to try to practice, free practice, because we finished everything and uh, we're going to try to speak and that's it, okay? Do you have any questions about the class of today? No question, teacher, thank you. Very good, so my friends, it was a pleasure. Let's just check the attendance and then we finish. Let's see how it goes, she said. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Moran. Present teacher. Hey, hey, you're listening to the song, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching with my, my spouse. Okay, good, that's nice. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher, here teacher. <laughs> good. <laughs> Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening. Good night, present. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. 
Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Good night. Good night. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. For you is the 101 of today, Mayra. So, okay. So my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good weekend. Rest a lot and dream in English. See you next Monday. See you, see teacher. You Monday. Thank you. See you. Good you Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Hello, Mayra, how are you? Uh, very good, teacher. Are you busy? Are you at work? Yes, I am in work. Oh my goodness, that's very heavy. <laughs> yes, this month, the activity at work uh, is increased. And uh, it was very difficult to me connected to the class uh, with the camera on, but I, I, I what? Try it mm -hmm. um, to put attention in some class. Of course, I really appreciate that one. We know it's very important and totally understand your situation. So, thank you, teacher. But and, huh? I, I want to uh, approach that. Take advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. I am sorry, would you repeat? Take advantage. Take advantage, okay. I want to uh, take advantage. Um, but, uh, um, question, I want to, no sé cómo decir, que quiero hacer una pregunta. I want to ask a question. Ah, oh, okay. I want to ask a question uh, for um, how to I can increase my vocabulary. Okay, there are many ways that you can do. I mean, one of the best options is to read, to read things that are related to the things that you would like to learn. And whenever you find a new word, Look for that one, but not, not in the translator. Look for that one uh, in a dictionary. You can do it in an online dictionary if you want. Another thing that you can do is to, when you are in the house, try to think in English. For example, if you go to the refrigerator and open that one, think in English, uh, I'm going to cook this, I need, and whenever you stop there and you say, I need this, you can look for that word. How is that in English? So you can get the common vocabulary. So maybe that is uh, what you're looking to get, a common vocabulary for you to express yourself. So, and if you don't have the time to look for the word at the very moment, at least you can write it in a list and then look for those words, look for the pronunciation. So there are, those are two very good ways for you to increase your vocabulary. Okay. 
Oh, okay, okay, very interesting. And I think that it's very easy. Yeah, you know, it's easy uh, because it's going to have, uh, I mean, if it's the reading, maybe in your free time, but it's easy in the, if it's in the day to day in the daily activities, you, the only thing that you need to do is to think in English, switch mm -hmm. to full English in your mind. So I know that everybody, we speak with ourselves, right? So it's like, mm -hmm. I need to do this. I need to go in, and clean this or do this report. And then you are going to find words at the beginning you are going to find a lot of words. You don't need to look for all the words. If you find 10 words, 15 words in a day, that is a good thing. The next day, you know that word and you can look for other words. And so on. It will come a time when maybe you are going to look for only three or four words, but that is because you have a lot of vocabulary already. Okay. I am going to do this or increase my vocabulary. Definitely, that is a very good exercise. And you are going to switch from Spanish to English. That is going to be very useful as well. Okay, okay. thank very you nice. very much. Do you have any other question about the platform, the classes or any other question that you might have? No, 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 at, at this moment, no. But I, I, I am going to uh, finish the platform today. Very good, that is very important. Please finish that one. If you have questions, just uh, send me a chat and of course it will be a pleasure to help you out. Okay, thank you. Perfect, Mike. It was a pleasure to be with you here tonight. And remember that also that if you have questions, you can ask me, uh, even if we are not in class anymore, you can ask me questions, okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect, it was a pleasure. Have a good night and I hope you finish very soon your, your work. Thank you, I hope so. <laughs> okay, perfect. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, teacher. Good night. Good night.